Hey guys, Evans with Z111 here today, bringing you episode 57 of my Nino Kuni Roth All Might Witch Let's Play. Now, as you may know, just notice I'm level 57, that is complete coincidence. It's not meant to match the episode number. Anyway, I've completed the main game, and I am told, I believe, I really hope, there is post game content to this game. So the official Let's Play is over. Any episodes from now on are just going to be post game content, bonuses, extra stuff. Not sure how long it's going to go on for, it could just stop suddenly, but by the looks of it, I'm in Motorville, completed game save loaded. You'll rejoin the action from point just before final battle with the White Witch. Arranged post game completion features will be available for you to enjoy. New challenges have been added to the Casino and Solosium series. Sweet! So, um, I new tasks are now available. There's also new tasks and bounty hunts, I'm assuming. So, by the looks of it, I am free to do whatever the hell I want. So, first thing I'm do eh, doing is getting the hell out gate. Get getting the hell out gateway. Can't speak, really can't speak. Using gateways to get the hell out of Motil. Also, I should apologise. I am really sorry. I am really, really sorry for turning you lot into a bunch of cynical, nitpicking game critics like myself. Uh, I have complained way too much during this Let's Play for such an amazing game, but here I am. What? Why is the Ivory Tower still there? I thought no, we didn't blow it up. Oh no, this is before the end of the game technically. So um, does that mean I haven't saved the world? Yeah, I haven't saved the world, have I? I don't really understand. Look, I'm complaining already. I don't really understand how um that means there's more bonuses available. But I think I oh no, I need to go to what should we call it? I need to go to uh, the Amar Memoir, the ruins, to get that spell because I completely forgot to do that before the last episode. So I'll see you guys when I get there. As I was saying, I'm not really sure what there is in terms of post-game content for this game. I know there's a few extra quests and like as said, there's more battles available at the Solosium and at the Casino. I don't know if it's similar to Dragon Quest, where a lot of the game opens up, or even Dragon's Dogma, any game with dragon in the name, um, because in terms of post-game content, those games did it so well. Dragon Quest opened up an entire new area with a new story, and the bosses there were so difficult. This is Dragon Quest Journey of the Cursed King I'm talking about, and in terms of Dragon's Dogma, again, open up an entire new area, new bosses, new enemies, new everything. I don't know if this game is going to be the same, or if it's just extra side quests, I'm really not sure, so um, I suppose you sh you guys should tell me in the comments if there's anything I do definitely, desperately, defi definitely, definitely, something I need to check out, why, oh no, he's not here, why is he not here, I was told, oh there he is, he just, that's not Horace, no way is that Horace, is that Horace, no that's not, that can't be Horace, Hor he does have the same colour, is that Horace? It's for it must be Horace. Why is he old? This is weird, I don't like it. Is it Ah, oh, it has been a while. It is Horace! Uh sorry sir, we met. Uh -huh, you really don't know why I suppose I've changed my appearance. Yep, definitely Horace, hundred percent Horace. What the flipping heck is he on about? Oliver, I've been waiting for you. I have a tell I So we're gonna find out how he died or what happened. Okay, there was once a kingdom where we now stand a mighty king united with surrounding lands and established a realm here. This king treated all his subjects equally, be they humans, animals, or magic creatures, a new era of peace was dawning. Also it seemed that there were those who despised the king, covetous souls who envied his power, they plotted against him, sowing discord throughout the kingdom. And in so in doing so, Nazcar Oh, oh I was doing so well, and in doing so, set Nazcar on the road to ruin. But then there my memory becomes hazy, I cannot recall their names nor their outward appearance. Were they were there twelve? Oh, he's talking about council. He must be talking about council. Even now that my amnesia has been cured, their faces remain hidden to me. Listen, man, I'm not sure you want us to say it. Saying it's, uh, we do know what they. Oh, I'm, I'm really confused now because I don't know how much they know. Oh, that's a shame. I know that, but I also know I recorded my fears about them somewhere. I left a message, a warning, so that when people saw them, they would know to beware. But where? Wait, yes, I hid it in a magical tome that would never age or decay, the wizard's companion, which means you must have it. Think, I wanted people to know what they looked like, perhaps, but what they wore? That They just wear robes, aren't they? Um, don't they? Along with warning, you must know where it is. The wizard's robes? I'm sure the key will help me to... Okay, what are you actually asking me to look for? Uh, it, was, uh, it was what they wore, those twelve evil swords, but I can't seem to recall what they looked like. I'm certain they had a warning in magic. Please tell me the name of the garment. It's wizard's robes. It's literally wizard's robes. Because I remember, I thought this was the answer to the previous one. Because um, I had to look at the ancient writing on it. Is it... It can't... I really should have looked in the book first, but... Wizard robes? I'm just going to go for it. Wizard robes. That's not... Okay. Yeah, I, I'm going to look in the book. That was really stupid of me. Uh, where would it be? Would it be in magic equipment? It'd be in 12 Tales of Wonder, wouldn't it? No, it wouldn't be here. Oh, why am I missing pages from that? I've been really completionist about this game, so I don't know why I haven't got them. Well, might as well start from the beginning. 
Oh wait, no, no, no. It's here. It's here for wizards. Wizards robes. Wizards. Wizard. No. This is going to take absolutely ages. Uh. Oh, hold on a second. Oh my god, yeah, it said I unlocked a new spell, didn't it? This is what, um, Cassiopeia was using in the final battle, Ashes of Resurrect- Why is it crossed out? The five of sacred rules of nature and resurrect the dead, a forbidden spell due to its immense power is extremely difficult to cast and drawing its rune is no guarantee of success, even under optimal conditions for- That's- that's what she was casting! That's the spell she found out about that she was going to use to restore hope, she was going to use that on the Wizard King, wasn't she? And that's what caused the mana to fall, that must be it. You simply have no idea what you could lose should you attempt to cast a spell. And that's what... I'm... I really hope I'm right about that. But then why the hell was she using it in the final battle? I have no idea. Alright, I really don't want to waste even more time because this is... Is that... No. This has really been going on for a while now and I think I must have misunderstood something. So I am going to look this up. Are you kidding me? I gave the right answer, but... Why is it... I said wizard robes and it's not... I can't, I'm, I'm surprised at two things. First of all, I'm right. Second of all, I'm wrong. I'm surprised at the fact I was right about wizard robes, but I'm surprised. Why am I wrong? I, I, I'm gonna try tapping it out again. Oh yeah, of course it works now. Maybe. Oh, it's probably because I didn't look in the book. I'm guessing that's why. Yeah, that's right. Now I remember those fiends called themselves in the wizard's robes. I can see it now, deep in deliberation. Maybe with a council of twelve, each member was given a title of zodiac. And that is not all. Well, come on, man, spit out what have you remembered. I was there all of those millennia ago. I swore fealty to the Wizard King. Yes, I remember now. I was a sage in Nazcar. You were, but that means, did you know Cassiopeia? What? How did you know that name? Cassiopeia, Queen Cassiopeia. It was long ago. I sense her spirit at times over years. It's unmistakably her, but I know not what befell her. I think I'd better take over here. Now pay attention, because I'll only say this once. Not if I load the save file, Drippy. I see, so Queen Cassiopeia, she... She gave in to the darkness, and that ash I saw fall on Ding Dong Dell, that was her doing? Bolivar, you really must be born saver, but was the king trust you with his wand, after all? Oh, we'll save her, sir, I just know we will. Alright, oh, that's the spirit. Of course, the wizard king's wand is not yet at full are you, are you kidding me? <laughs> Even Drippy's taking the piss now. Now, nah, fear not, to the one who was called the Sage of the Ages, it is a trifling matter. Uh, so, we don't have to go traipsing around after magic stones, then. Thank Flip for that. I love how he can't swear, because if he could swear, he would be swearing so much. Now let me begin. Awake, O Wand of the Wizard King. Awake, O Astra. Da da da, you're a s- Ooh, a new spell. Cast a spell known only to legend. I really want- Ooh, I even got a trophy for that. I'm guessing that's for learning all the spells. So it's ready to go now, huh? Gee, thank you, sir. The true power that dwells within one can sometimes require different efforts to be drawn out. I believe that you alone can harness the full power of Astra. With it, you'll be able to cast spells that only a king among wizards has ever wielded. I sure hope so. And you're- Yeah, what's he gonna do? We just met you after all, blah blah blah. You have never seen a problem accepting. You've never had a problem accepting spells from you before. You what? You mean before? Hold on a minute. You're not telling me. You're hor. Are you, are, you, are you absolutely kidding me? This game. Come on. <laughs> I was wondering when the guild would drop, but late now and never. Indeed, I was once a sage known as Horoglium or Horus to my friends. Who'd have thought a mouthy little brat like Horus would have grown up to be so important looking, eh? How many times I must tell you, I was age of ages, I was no normal boy. Ma, oh, so does this mean you finally got your memory back? Indeed it does, and I have much to thank you for. Now there is a little I can do to save Queen Cassiopeia in my current state. I'm afraid that I must humbly ask you to do all you can, all in your power to free her from the darkness. Sure thing, Horace will save her. You see, we don't. You are a brave and pure-hearted warrior, but I will pray for your success. Alright, now what are you going to do? Oliver, there's something I need to tell you. Oh, what? What is it, Horace? I must tell you about Nazca and Cassiopeia and about... What? Before you attempt to save Cassiopeia, you... <laughs> I'm so sorry, guys. It may take some time, but I hope you can spare the time to listen to what I have. This is a quest to talk to him. I don't get any stamps for it, but, uh, okay. Thank you, Oliver. Our story begins not long ago where the Kingdom of Nazcar once flourished. Though it may appear bleak and barren now, in those days it was a mighty empire that combined mighty magic with advanced technology. It was a prosperous realm, realm where poverty and pestilence were all but unknown, and in its people enjoyed a life of peace and plenty. The man was never... But man was never won't. Can, but man was never won't. That sentence doesn't make sense to me, I'm sorry. But man was never won't to count his blessings, and greed soon reared its ugly head in spite of all they had the populace demanded more. Friends turned upon one another, families were torn apart, and each citizen strove to better his own lot and outdo his neighbour. Sounds like a recipe for a right old mess, that. And indeed it was. It led to a series of conflicts that would span for centuries for wizard wars. But the course of history was changed with the arrival of a single wizard. Wow, one wizard made that big of a difference? 
Indeed, this wizard wielded not one, but two wands. His mastery of magic was unparalleled, and he soon turned the tide of war. Through his power, the bitter conflict that many thought it would never end was brought to a conclusion in the space of mere days. Crikey, sounds like you'd want... Uh, sounds like someone you'd want on your side in a fight. He was indeed fairy. He was lauded a hero by all the people world, and his reward was, was for crowning... He's the wizard king, he must be. So he had two wands, I didn't know that. The wizard king, Cassiopeia's father. The very same, now shortly after peace... Was it him who wielded both Mornstar and Astra then? Are those like the two magical ones that I'm now in possession of? That's really awesome. The very same now, shortly after Beast returned to the world, the Wizard King um, hid one of his ones in the distant land of Ultumnia. He sealed it far away, that it might not ne never be used for evil. Which brings me to my latest puzzle. It's been some time since I last posed you a question, has it not? It was a few minutes ago. I guess it has, huh? Excellent, my question is this. What was the name of one that was Wizard King? Yeah, I do know it. Is it... Uh, this is a really weird side quest. I did not see this episode going this way. I am really sorry. Indeed, it was the very one that you carry with you now. I wonder how the valley where it was sealed fares. In those days, it was filled with the most beautiful flowers. There's a real um, link with flowers here. I'm guessing they symbolise something to do with Cassiopeia. Or There's just a lot of mention of flowers. They've been used so often, and nobody's really commented on it until now. I'll be waiting for you, Oliver. Come and find me. Oh, he's going to the valley. You could have at least said goodbye, god damn it. To be honest, I think this video was kind of representative of what the rest of the videos from now on are going to be like. They're going to be all explaining things to do with Let's Play, summarising the Let's Play, and of course just accessing the bonus content like that. But I'm going to call... I know not exactly much has happened this episode. There's been a lot of explanations though, and a lot of sort of dialogue. I don't know if you guys are going to like that or not, but I figured I might as well upload it. And of course, comment with what you do want to see next time. Um, current choices are I can go to the Solosseum, I can go to the Casino, I can do the side quests, I can do bounty hunts, or I could... I wonder if white, I wonder if fighting the White Witch a second time will do anything different. I'm really not sure, I'm going to have... Oh, that costs 60 mana, god, I want to see what this looks like. But you guys will have to tell me what to do, and give me advice, and all that shiz. Also, I'm sorry, I... <laughs> I'm sorry, I apologise too much. God, that's ironic. But it is really goddamn hot, so my commentary has been so off. I've been tripping on my words and a lot because it's. Just, I did 666 damage. Astra is a spell of a devil. But it is really hard to do commentaries when it's this hot, and even when I'm editing, it keeps crashing. I'm just generally frustrated. It's too hot in England. If you live here, you'll know what it's like. But this will be me, Evans with Z111. Please leave everything if you enjoyed. Comment with what you want me to do next time. And this is me. I've already said that. Goodbye, everybody.